This video covers steps for installing the Graco Recline and Ride 3-in-1 car seat, featuring on-the-go recline in rear-facing mode with the vehicle seat belt. We'll go over step-by-step -step instructions to ensure your car seat is installed securely. Before getting started, have your car seat manual and your vehicle's manual on hand. And make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Graco supports the American Academy of Pediatrics and National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's car seat guidelines. Please review this information before proceeding. Next, check the recline foot. The label shown here shows the correct position for rear facing and forward facing. If the recline foot is in the incorrect position, flip the recline foot over. Push the base against the vehicle's seat and make sure the recline foot is making contact with the vehicle's seat. Make sure the stability foot fully rests on your vehicle seat. Check the level indicator to ensure the bubble is in the blue zone for rear-facing car seat installation. Adjust the recline if necessary until the bubble is completely within the blue zone. Thread your vehicle's seat belt through the rear-facing belt path marked with a blue label. Buckle it, making sure the seat belt lies flat and isn't twisted. Remove slack by pulling on the shoulder belt while pressing down firmly in the center of the car seat. Lock the shoulder belt into the red shoulder belt lock-off. Only the shoulder belt goes into the lock-off that is opposite the vehicle buckle. Finally, go through this checklist to make sure the installation is correct. Test for tightness. Grab the sides of the seat where the vehicle seat belt is routed and slide the seat side to side and front to back. The seat shouldn't move more than one inch in any direction. If the seat moves more than one inch, remove the shoulder belt from the lock-off and pull more slack out of the vehicle belt. Replace the shoulder belt into the lock-off and retest. Repeat until the seat moves less than one inch. Check the level indicator again to make sure the bubble is still completely in the blue zone. If not, adjust the on-the-go recline until the bubble is within the blue zone. Check the harness. For rear-facing car seats, harness slots should be at or below the child's shoulders. Raise or lower as needed to ensure the harness is in the right position. Do the pinch test. Tighten the harness strap snugly by pulling on the front adjuster strap. If you can pinch the harness strap at the child's shoulders, the straps are too loose. Check the chest clip. Once buckled in, ensure the chest clip is at armpit level on your child. Raise or lower as needed. If you have all check marks, then you have a successful installation.